Hello, this is my first video version in English. I'm sorry if it's not always spoken correctly, I try my best. I used a Wolf Force 9, you need about 150 grams, and a crochet hook size 6 European. I start with a matching ring, show you. And as a substitute for the first double crochet, crochet three chain stitches. One. And the first is three. And then you crochet eleven double crochet in ring, so you have a total number of twelve if you count your first three chain stitches as one double crochet. And close the round with a slip stitch in the third chain stitch from the beginning. For the second round, as a substitute for the first double crochet, again crochet three chain stitches. One. Two and three. In the next stitch, I crochet two front post double crochet. So at the same double crochet of the previous round. one and the same stitch second front post double crochet The next double crochet is a back post double crochet.
Then again, in the next double crochet, two front post double crochet. One. And two. And again in the next stitch, one back post double crochet. So you repeat two front post and one back post double crochet until end of round. Two front post with one stitch and in the next stitch one back post. We end with a two um, front post double crochet and uh, now close the round with a slip stitch in the third chain stitch from the beginning. This three stitches count as our one and last back post double crochet. Here, slip stitch, three chain stitches for the third round and in the third round we increase the back post double crochet. So we crochet um, two front post in the two front post crochets and two back post crochet in the one back post crochet from previous round. One front post, second stitch front post and two back post crochet in the one back post crochet from previous round. And repeat this until end of round. Then we have two front post, two back post, double crochet and change. Here we have two front post, in the first one front post and in the second front post crochet, no second front post crochet, two back post, the same stitch and so on.
Um, now I see I make a little mistake in the previous round. I've forgotten my second front post crochet. Um, it doesn't matter. I make it now. So I'm sorry you have also two front posts. And we end with one back post double crochet because um, the three chain stitches count again as our last double crochet in, in, in this round as last back post. So only one back post double crochet. And then slip stitch in the third chain stitch from beginning. And this is then our second back post double crochet in the end of round. Start again the next round with three chain stitches. And in this round we increase the front post double crochet. And we make from two, three. So you make one front post double crochet. And in the second front post double crochet from previous round, you make two front post double crochet. So you have three. Then two back post. We only increase the front post double crochet in this round. One, two back post. And now again, one front post in the first front post double crochet from previous round and in the sixth, six, uh, second, sorry, we make two front posts. So we have three. Two back posts now. One, and the next stitch two. And so on until end of round. Now we end with here we have the three front post double crochet and we make one back post. This is the end of round. And second back post double crochet we make in the three chain stitches now. And close with a slip stitch the third chain stitch from beginning. Later we will don't close the rounds and work in spiral rounds, only the beginning. You also can start with 12 um, double crochet in the ring and one extra stitch for closing. It's also okay, but I decided this way. In the next round, uh, we crochet three front posts and increase the back post. So we make from two, three. So three chain stitches to start. One front post in the first stitch. Second front post in the second stitch. And third front post double crochet in the third stitch. Then one back post in the next stitch. And increase in the next we make two back post double crochet. So we have in this round three front post double crochets and three back post double crochets in chain.
now I'm on the end of my round. We have here our front post, three, and one back post, second back post, and last back post, three, and the slip stitch and the third change from beginning. Now we have one, two, three. We don't increase, make a slip stitch. Three chain stitches to start the next round. And in the last round, we increase um, the front post and the back post double crochet. Now we make one front post, in the next stitch, second front post, and in the third stitch, two front post increase. Now we have four front post double crochet. Then one back post in the next stitch. Second back post in the next stitch. And then increase. So we make two back post double crochet in the third back post double crochet from previous round. So we have in this round always four front post at the end of round and four back post. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yes. Four front post and four back post. Repeat this till end of round. So we are on end. Here are the first three back post double crochet from our last four. And because I will um, crochet the next rounds in spiral rounds, so we make here our slip stitch and a third chain stitch from start. Um, now, if you need more stitches for your head, you increase in, in change. So the next round you make five front posts and in the next round five uh, back post double crochets and so on. And now I, I work in spiral round so I don't need my three chain stitches and we change now um, where we have front post double crochets now we make back post double crochets i uh, set a marker then i know where my round start and begin Now we make four back posts. Double crochet. One, two, three, and four. And in the previous round we have now we have make back post and now we make front post. One, two, three, and four.
for a back post because in previous round we had front post. One, two, back post, three, back post, and four. Now I'm end of round. I crochet front post and there is my marker. So here is my last and fourth front post double crochet. Don't slip stitch. So you work in the next three rounds for back post and for front post. And three rounds. And then you change again. So there where you make the front, you make the back post. Four rounds. I show you. We change now. Now I have four rounds in this way. And we change. So we begin again with front post double crochet. For a total of four rounds we make four front post and four back post double crochet. And so you make this basket weave. always a total of four rounds in this way and then you can change again until your beanie is long enough. I show you the next chain after four rounds. So I have my four rounds. I take the marker always up the round. This is my last stitch. And now I change. Here I have front posts double crochet, so I make four back posts double crochet. And here for front post and for a total of four rounds. So here the end and I think it's long enough. How you end your beanie, it's um, your opinion. Um, I, I show you an example. Um, I end with a round complete only back post double crochet and then make three rounds with single crochet. Um, you can make it how you want. Um, I make on this baby also only single crochet. And here is my last front post double crochet and I make in the next stitch one slip stitch for ending and one chain stitch because uh, I make single crochets. So I think about for three rounds. You can end 
um, your opinion, how you want, how you like. So I'm end of round. I have two rounds of single crochet. And I think it's the end long enough. So you make your slip stitch and pull yarn over, cut it, and you finish. I hope you have understand my English. I'm sorry if I make mistakes. I try to make it better in the next uh, translation. So I wish you good luck and bye bye.